Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to research, write, and rank a blog post on the first page of Google using WriterZen and Word Hero AI. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you wanna do is research and find the topic in which you'll be writing about. And the best way to do so is head over to WriterZen and start by using their topic discovery tool. So in order to use this tool, you wanna go ahead and search up the seed keyword in which you're researching. For example, if you wanted to write an article about affiliate marketing, you can get started by searching up that broad keyword so you can start getting some ideas as to what topic of affiliate marketing you want to write about. So once you enter your broad keyword, go ahead and click search. Once it's finished loading, you'll be able to see different variations of the keyword in which you searched up. So we see affiliate marketing, we see um, trends about affiliate marketing, we see understanding affiliate marketing, reports related to affiliate marketing, bloggers and affiliate marketing. So as you can see, we get different topics or different clusters of topics in which, which we can take a look at to decide what uh, keyword we want to write about. And you'll also be able to see the search volume of that specific topic. And if you click show ideas, you'll be able to see all of the headlines or all of the main topics that these blog posts are writing about on Google when relating to that keyword. So for instance, under bloggers, we see um, how to get started with affiliate marketing for bloggers, how do affiliate marketer bloggers get paid, affiliate marketing and CPA marketing, how does affiliate marketing work, the future of affiliate marketing and so on. So you can see here, you're already getting a lot of ideas in which you can pull from to start writing about for your own unique article or blog post. So by default, this is sorted by relevancy. If you wanted to, you can change this to um, search volume. So that means you'll be able to see the keywords that are related to affiliate marketing that have the highest amount of search volume. And again, if you click show ideas, you'll be able to see um, what those top ranked websites or blogs are writing about related to this keyword. So we see the top nine highest paying affiliate marketing programs, 14 best real estate affiliate programs of 2022, eight most lucrative real estate affiliate programs, and so on. So just from using the topic discovery tool in WriterZen, you'll be able to find and validate blog post topic ideas. So for this example, how to get started with affiliate marketing for bloggers seems to have a lot of search volume, and this also would be a very good topic to write about. So if you wanted to um, go ahead and take a look at the top ranked websites that's writing about that topic, just go ahead and click on the link and you can go and read through that blog post to see what they've included um, in their blog post. And you can get some ideas for the content in which you need to include within your blog post if you want to outrank this website. So once you find a suitable keyword using the topic discovery tool, you can then go ahead and start creating your content or you can further validate that keyword using the keyword explorer tool in writer's end so you can either paste the topic in which you found on the topic discovery tool and then search that up in the keyword explorer tool to validate that keyword idea or you can get started with doing your keyword research on the keyword explorer and just search up um, that broad keyword in which you're trying to um, find a topic to write about and as you can see you'll be able to get a nice overview of that specific keyword and if you scroll down you'll be able to do some filtering to find the perfect keyword for your website or blog if you wanted to filter down these keywords you can filter by including or excluding a specific word you can filter by search volume so if you only wanted keywords that have over a 500 search volume you can make that filtering uh, there you can also filter by word count so if you want long tail keywords and you want to have a minimum word count you can make that filter option here as well so both methods work. You can get started by doing your keyword research on the keyword research tool, or you can go ahead and use the topic discovery tool to help you find a keyword for your website or blog. And once you've found your keyword, you wanna head over to Word Hero, and we're going to use their editor to create a long form blog post for that specific keyword. And then we'll be heading over to WriterZen to further optimize that content. So get started by pasting the title in which we found on Writer's End. And the second thing that you want to do is generate an outline. So you can generate an outline by using the blog outline button. Makes it very easy to get a in-depth outline for your article. Or you can also use the outline template on the left hand side. So I like to use a variety of different methods to get my outline. So I like to use both uh, methods because you can then go ahead and pick and choose whichever headings or outlines you want to use within your article. So once I got the generated um, outline here i'm going to paste all of the content um, onto this uh, editor and then remove or add any topic in which i like the best okay so how to find the right affiliate programs for your blog that's a good headline that we can include and best practices for affiliate marketing that's also another headline in which we can use so we've gotten a pretty decent outline that was generated by word hero so let's go ahead and now generate the paragraphs for these specific headlines 
So first, let's generate some content for what is affiliate marketing. So again, there's two different ways in which you can generate content using Word Hero. You can just highlight that specific title, then click the block paragraph. You can also generate block paragraph content by using the block paragraph um, template on the left hand side here. So, so just paste what that block section is about and then you can add any keywords um, within the section and add any tone of voices in which you like. For this example, I'm going to leave both of those blank and then just click right for me and the AI will give you some content based upon that block section. Okay, so we got a lot of content here and if you want to paste that into your editor, just go ahead and click the arrow on your right hand side here. So I would then go ahead and read through um, these specific outputs in which we got back. If there's anything that's repetitive, I would remove that um, and then just make things flow a little bit better. And then you just rinse and repeat this process. So again, highlight that title, click the block paragraph. And if the AI stops writing mid sentence, you can click the write more button at the top right section of your editor. And that will allow you to um, continue writing or allow the AI to continue finishing its thought. Again, so you can go ahead and continue hitting that until the AI is run out of outputs. So once you're happy with that content, again, go ahead and copy your outline here, head over to the block paragraph. Now we're going to paste that outline and click right for me, and then go ahead and paste that onto your editor. And of course, read through it, make sure everything makes sense. And then you can combine or remove any content that's duplicate or is irrelevant to what you're writing about. Okay, so I'll rinse and repeat this process for all of the remaining headlines and I'll fast forward the video because it might be a little bit redundant and take a lot of time. So here we go, we were able to generate a decent amount of content using Word Hero. Right now we have a little bit over 1500 words. And when it's time to conclude your article, I recommend using the block conclusion template. So to use this template, copy your title, paste it in your description, and then click write for me. And then read through the outputs in which you get back, whichever one you like the most, paste that in there, and boom, your conclusion is now been added. So we have a little bit over 1600 words. We may have to add some more words or we may need to include some more topics for this specific article. But let's now go and copy this content and paste it into Writer's End and start optimizing our article. In order to start optimizing your article using Writer's End, head over to the content creator and you're going to start a new brief. And then you want to enter your seed keyword. So for this topic, our seed keyword will be affiliate marketing for bloggers. And then go ahead and create article. The first step of your content creator will be your competitive analysis. So you'll be able to see all of the top ranked blogs for this specific keyword. So instead of having to go through each and every one of these websites, you can click on that website and you'll get a nice description and overview of that site. So you can see um, the description of that blog post. You'll also be able to see their outlines. So you can see their H1s, you can see their H2 tags, their H3, um, their H4s and so on. So this will give you some real um, really good ideas that you can use for your own article or blog. So I'd recommend going through these headlines and seeing whichever ones you haven't included in your own um, content that you created on Word Hero and then adding that in and adding in some content uh, based upon that headline. The best part about Writers End is that it makes it very easy for you to add this onto your content editor. So you can start building your outlines by just clicking on those H3 tags. So once you click on these headlines, they'll be added into your outline builder. And when you're creating your content, you'll be able to see um, these headlines in there. It's a really cool and effective feature here that allows you to add more content into your article so that you can outrank your competitors. If you scroll down, you'll see some questions that people are asking about this specific topic on Google and on Reddit. So again, you can go through these and uh, see if you find any topics that you wanna include within your article. Once you're happy, go ahead and click setup and start building. And these are the H1 and H2 tags in which we selected from our competitors. Again, once you're happy, click save and set up keywords. Now these are going to be keywords in which you need to use within your article. So some of them are already going to be pre-selected, but if you see any keywords here that you want to include, just click on that keyword and you can see where that keyword is being used um, by your competitors. 
And you can also add that keyword into your keyword list so that you're including that within your article. So you get some really, really powerful features here from Writer's End. You can also go ahead and take a look at the opportunities keywords. So these are keywords that may not have been used by your competitors, but may be relevant for this article. So if you wanted to include a section about food bloggers, then you can um, go ahead and choose that keyword and then write about that within your article. So this gives you more opportunities to find keywords to rank for and get more traffic for your article. So once you've went through and selected all of your competitors and opportunities keywords, go ahead and click save and begin writing. Now this is your long form editor in which you'll be pasting your content, adding in more content and optimizing your overall blog post. On the right hand side, we can see that our overall score is an F and that's because we have no content here. The first thing that you want to do is head back over to Word Hero and copy the blog post that you created and paste it into the editor on Writer's End. And as you can see, we went from an F to a C. So we just need to include some more words. We need to include some images. And once you have a blog post within the A and B range, you can be confident that that blog post is optimized and you can post that onto your website or blog. To further optimize your blog post, head over to the Keywords tab and you want to make sure that you're using all of the relevant keywords um, within your article. Anything in the green has been used the optimal amount of times. Anything in the red um, has been used too much. And anything that's gray hasn't been used at all. So for instance, affiliate marketer has not been used in this article. So you'd want to go ahead and definitely add that keyword within your article. So I've went ahead and added that in. And as you can see, we have a three out of three. And now we have an overall score, which is a B. And below keywords will be your competitors. So if you wanted to check out your competitors, you can check them out in this tab. And below that are questions. So these are questions that you can include within your articles. So if you wanted to add a Q&A section, this would make it very easy um, for you to get those questions and then add that section within your article. So I've went ahead and added in some more content and some images into this article. And as you can see, we have an overall score of a B. Again, I wouldn't really take hours and hours overly optimizing a blog post. The key here is that you want to develop a workflow that will allow you to create the highest quality content the fastest. Because if you want to grow your blog, you need to be able to post loads of content consistently. So that's my word hero and writers and workflow that allows me to research, write and optimize content very quickly. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned something new. If you did, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.